Hey guys, Mason from Camp Chef. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to install your sidekick and internal gas burner system on your Apex grill. This is going to take your Apex grill from a normal pellet grill into the most versatile pellet grill on the market. If you haven't already assembled your Apex grill, please refer to the owner's manual or the assembly video. It's important to note that this video and assembly instructions will work for both the 24 inch and the 36 inch models. A good first step is going to be taking all the parts out of the box that came with your Sidekick assembly. I'm going to be using a moving blanket to help prevent scratches. Using a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to be removing the two M6 by 15 screws that are located on the faceplate, which are here and here. Then we'll remove the faceplate and set it aside. Using a hammer, knock out the two cover plates that are on the front of the grill. It's important to remember safety on this step, so don't forget some safety glasses. Remove all of the grill grates from inside of the grill and set them aside for later. Our next step will be installing our igniters. Now the igniters are installed from the inside out. The igniter hole is the biggest hole out of the small three holes inside of the grill body. You'll secure it down from the outside using two small M4 screws and secure it into place. Our next step will be installing the ignition wires from our igniters to the faceplate itself. Now you'll be connecting them to all of these individual black pieces here on the back of the valves. Replace the faceplate back onto the grill using the lips on the front. And then re-secure it with the two screws that we removed earlier from the older faceplate. Our next step will be to install all of the individual burners. Now it's important to remember that underneath the burner there's all these holes on the bottom side. That is the side that is going to face down. Put the front in first and then push in the back. Now secure it with the four remaining screws that came with the burner. It's important to remember after you're done installing your individual burners to go ahead and test each igniter to make sure that you're getting adequate spark. You're going to want to adjust the igniter to where it's just above all of these holes right along the bottom. You're going to want about a 3 16 inch gap and make sure that you're getting a good enough spark. Install your heat deflectors above each individual burner. Now it's important to remember that there's grooves inside the grill that line up with the sides of each heat deflector. Now you're going to want to replace your grill grates and close the lid. Let's move on to connecting our right side attachment. Let's start with attaching our propane hook on the right side of the grill. Go ahead and remove these two screws here and attach the propane hook. Now loosen these three screws here on top and remove these four here. let's connect our side attachment to the side of the grill. Go ahead and align all three screw heads with these holes here as that will allow the side attachment to go on and hang on there while you tighten them down. Now that your side attachment is connected with those top three screws, you can go ahead and connect the rest of the remaining four screws. At the bottom two screws on either side are your leveling screws, and when you're attaching this and securing it down, it's important to level the side attachment so it's sitting perfectly level. You are now ready to put the grease cup, the grate, and the griddle back into place. Using the quick connect coupling, attach the hose to the side attachment. Hang and hook up your propane tank next. We are now done with our Sidekick attachment assembly for the Apex grill. 
you are now ready to cook. If you have any further questions, check out our quick start guide or contact our customer support team and they will be happy to help. And once again, thank you for joining the Camp Chef family.